Welcome to a video from digitallife.com. Two new Windows 11 builds to look at, two for the price of one with this video. We've got 23440 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel and 25346 for Windows Insiders on the Canary Channel. Um, we'll start off here with the uh, Dev Channel one. And there's a couple of changes to this build. If you go down to Start Menu, see the, the recommended section, there's a What's New the build link and uh, that's a direct link to the release notes so if you click on that it takes you directly to the microsoft web page with the release notes in there which I think is quite handy if you want to know what's new in the build it saves you having to go through and uh, look for yourself and there we go there's the the, the notes on there um right okay what else is new there well now i've got the page over we can have a look so we can adjust the date and time you see i've got my second notification on there um, but we can actually change that And we can hide it from the tray like that if we want to. So there's that new setting. You notice down here, where as, as well, is I've got the option to diagnose the network issue and um, it's a little di diagnostic tool now. So there's no issues with this device. It's, it's a virtual machine on, on a network and uh, it's fine. But there you go, that's that option on there. Um, okay, what else is new in this build? Oh, if you've got Windows Spotlight on, which I don't think I have on here yet, the icon is, has changed on there. Right, so the rest of the changes are fixes. They fix some issues with Explorer EXE that when it would crash. I don't usually find these issues too, too often. They've updated the widget um, invocation logic, and that's so that if you kind of catch it with your mouse, if I do it on my host machine, you kind of catch it, I suppose, like that. Whereas yeah it's it's hard to i can accidentally catch it sometime you've got to really hover over it but it is possible to accidentally catch it and they've so supposedly improved the logic on that so that doesn't happen as often they fixed some issues with file explorer we're using the new version of file explorer now that's that pizza icon shows that so they fixed some issue with the context menus and um some issues with the DPI settings as well. I haven't got the new gallery feature yet that will appear there, which would show you all your photos. Um, hopefully that will make its way across to all insiders soon. There's still some known issues with this build, um, like the task, the search box not appearing. I don't think there are any new known issues over previous um, builds. No, no, there aren't. So the issues we talked about in previous builds are all still there, or are, are still there if they're on the release notes, but there's nothing new to report. Over on here, we've got the Canary build, and um, just a few changes to this build. And most of these actually have been seen in um, the dev channel, which, uh, which is funny when Canary has kind of hot off the press, press builds, as Microsoft likes to call them. Um, and experimental features and things like that. Whereas, yeah, in here we haven't had this feature yet, but there is um, the option to uh, change brightness automatically when lightning changes on two in ones. Now, because I'm using this on a virtual machine, I don't see the option, but uh, yeah, that's that's there. That was in the dev channel a while ago. You, oh, you device manufacturer has to support that. Um, just a couple of the bits and pieces. The network diagnostic is in there. Um, remote desktop title bar so has that supports dark and light mode. And there's a new setting for presence sensing. I, that was also in the dev channel, uh, recent dev channels build. So if you're going to that again, I don't see this because my device doesn't support that. This virtual machine. If I go in present sensing, and I can actually show you, this is a screenshot of what that looks like. Um, that is, if you've got if your device supports present sensing API, then you've got the privacy controls for it on there as well. So another option is HDR, uh, to turn off HDR video streaming when you're running on battery. HDR not supported on this virtual machine, but uh, you, you get the option on there as well. And so those are the changes with the... Oh, there's one other change as well. The Windows Security Dialog, if you get that, it looks like a Windows 
uh, 11 dialog now instead of uh, Windows 10. So those are the changes with the um, the uh, Canary build. There's not a huge amount in there. I'm hoping we get some new exciting features soon. And uh, But there you go. We've got two builds for the price of one. That's the Dev Channel build and the Canary Channel build in one video. Hope you like the video. You can leave comments. You can like if you like it. Subscribe if you like it. And I'll see you on the next one.